Welcome to Mental Junk Food. This is CB Smallwood, and you're at the place where we talk about all things comic, sci-fi, horror, fantasy, pop culture, and everything in between. And today we're going to be talking about Comic Book Girl 19. And she just released, uh, her and her crew just released a new video. The video uh, that she released was entitled The Final Episode and and a little bit of other stuff. But the final episode, like many of you, really caught my eye and I watched the video. And of course I was going to watch the video anyway because when you see a Comic Book Girl 19 video come out, you know that it's going to be quality. It doesn't matter if you agree with Comic Book Girl's 19's views or any of her co-hosts or anything like that. Uh, nine times out of ten, or ten times out of ten, a Comic Book Girl 19 video is going to be quality. Okay, it's a quality video. Top-notch production from beginning to end. A uh, good little bit of comedy bits. It's just it's just a fun show to watch on YouTube. And it is one of the most well-put-together shows on YouTube. Um, definitely could be in the top ten, you know. So, with that said, let's talk about what... Uh, what's what's happened here so basically in the comic book girl 19 the final episode uh she reveals about midway through it that after all the changes that's been going on in youtube especially going back from like 2016 i believe with the ad apocalypse and stuff like that it's just became or it's become so unsustainable for people to make this a career for people to make this a uh, means of a living and stuff like that. Now, for some of you that, that are critics of that type of train of thought, you know, to do that level of production that Comic Book Girl 19 does, uh, it, it takes people sitting down and, and writing scripts. It takes people, you know, having software that you have to pay uh, uh, licensing uh, fees for in many cases. You know, you have to you know, make an intro, you have to like uh, cue the music and edit everything all together. Um, it, it's, it's a big job. And then they, they've also got a very uh, nice elaborate set that they got put together. And every episode or every other episode, they try to do something a little bit different. And that, that, that starts to run into a little bit of money. It runs to a lot of time and it runs to a lot of effort. And to be able to put out videos consistently it's it's important that you know YouTube reimburses its creators to keep you know to encourage them to keep creating content, and so that's why it's important you know. Uh, anyway, Comic Book Girl nineteen and her team of people that that make their videos since the ad apocalypse kicked in sometime around in twenty sixteen it's just become so unsustainable and they've they've you know they've been making videos at a loss you know they 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 don't even make a profit on them uh, according to them anyway. She's at a point now that she has to cancel the show. She has to cancel the show, uh, going to go over to Twitch and just go solo. And that means that you know, these people that are like her family that, that, that she's enjoyed making the show with, you know, they're gone. So now she's going to be a solo act on Twitch. And it's really heartbreaking to see. You know, I, I, it was real genuine um, emotions, not saying that she's ever uh, being fake or disingenuous, but uh, when you watch the video, you'll see, you'll see. But it really upset me because people like her is what makes YouTube great. There are so many talented people on YouTube that put together, you know, great videos in, in different genres. You know, some people do news and stuff like that, like a what, what is his name? Like Philip DeFranco, or, or you got somebody that just basically blogs, like uh, like Boogie, or you got somebody that has a lot of a, like a lot of funny stuff or satire or whatever, like uh, like a PewDiePie. And then you got Comic Book, Girl, Comic Book Girl 19 with her top notch production and talking about comics and stuff like that. Uh, you got people that do how to videos, everything from like how to fix your car, how how to run different types of software to people that uh, teach you martial arts or, or teach you how to draw. Uh, I mean, every conceivable thing uh, for wh wherever there's a need or want, there's somebody, a regular human being, who just decided to put a camera in front of their face and start making videos. And it's, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. And that's the essence of YouTube. It's you in the tube. And in the last couple of years, 
you know, with YouTube, with the ad apocalypse and, and a lot of dumb policies on their part because, you know, they don't communicate with their creators. Um, they're really starting to force a lot of people out the door. And it was heartbreaking to see Comic Book Girl 19 in in tears and, and tore up about it because, you know, the show was ending. And it, it it's, it's really hurtful. And, and I really hope that YouTube gets their act together because if they're going to force people out like that, if it because essentially their policies force people out whether that's intended or not and if they're going to force people like her out then youtube is just going to be a big place of suck you know uh i can watch jimmy kimmel <laughs> i can watch conan i can watch cbs news cnn news or whatever i can watch that stuff on the tv when i go to youtube i want to see something new and see something different and i want to see new you know uh, my familiar faces of, of people also, you know, that, that grew up to the ranks of YouTube, you know, that, that, that's what YouTube means to me, an opportunity for regular folk to, you know, grow an audience, uh, uh, develop a relationship with that audience and, and, and also to, to put themselves out in the world, you know, where they can have equal footing with the Jimmy Kimmel's of the world. And I have no animus between, you know, like with, with people like Jimmy Kimmel or Conan O'Brien or whoever that, that YouTube wants to push. I really don't, but, but my problem is is that they they're pushing these people, uh, these these celebrities, as opposed to pushing and promoting more the actual YouTube personalities that made this site great in the first place. So this is just a really quick video. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. I'm, I'm not really articulating myself well. I, I, <laughs> it really bothered me. It really bothered me to watch that video. And it the video does have. A happy ending the comic book girl 19 final episode does have a happy ending and i don't want to spoil it for you i think it's better that you just watch it it's just 27 minutes long but those 27 minutes fly by as you're watching it but there are some interesting uh youtube changes that are coming down the road that you know plays a role in this and uh that, that plays a role in 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 the outcome of comic book girl 19's video so i recommend you check that out i'll leave a link to it in the description box down below Please leave a comment down below uh, about what you think about this. You know, uh, do you think that YouTube is forcing out people uh, like that? Or does it make you mad? Or, or are you are you fine with it? Is it survival of the fittest? I really do enjoy reading each and every single one of you's comments because, as I always say, you, you typically are far more well articulated and have a better command of the English language than than, than I ever could. And not only me, but other people that are passive, kind of like voyeurs of YouTube that enjoy just like watching it and seeing comment sections will probably enjoy your comments and, and your thoughts as well. So please leave a comment, uh, comment down below in the comment section. Uh, hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed this video or found it informative or whatever. And uh, I'm on a pathway or on the road to trying to get a thousand subscribers. So it would mean a lot to me if uh, you see potential in me or in this channel or whatever, or if you just want to show your support, please hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, anyway, folks, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is CB Smallwood, and I will see you in the next video.